Hey guys, it's the lady without a face again, bringing you another Black Ops gameplay commentary extravaganza. <laughs> um, I promised that I would get a Q&A video up today, so here it is. I hope you like it. I also hope you like this nade right there. Love it. Enjoy it. Keep it in your back pocket, and then I get blown up. Anyway, uh, like I said, this is a, a Black Ops gameplay. I am fapping about with, I don't know, I think I keep switching guns all through this, but it's a pretty decent score. Um, so, enjoy, enjoy. I, uh, I have these questions here all set up, ready to be answered, so without further ado, gentlemen. <clears throat> Alright. Faceless, do you do open lobbies for subs? Yes, I do. I will tweet out about them. Uh, so you have to follow me on Twitter, because I have no other way of getting a hold of you guys. Um, what does it take to show a girl you care about her very much without sounding like you want to jump her? Well, <clears throat> as a professional girl, let me just enlighten you. We know that you want to jump us. You guys are very obvious like that. Um, to show a girl you care about her, in my opinion, I think is to listen to her. And I know we all love to talk, us women, but... It's probably like the number one thing, like if you've ever been having a conversation with someone and somehow it gets interrupted and you turn to her and say, oh, as you were saying about um, cowbells or something, you know, just to show that you were just listening to what she was saying. We love that. We eat that shit up. You listen to a girl and can comment and like ask about things that she might have mentioned to you in the past or something. Oh, my God. You're you're in. Homeboy, oh you're in. Um. What is the craziest pickup line someone has ever tried to use on you? Um, let me see. Craziest? I don't know. I actually lame pickup lines work on me. I really like when people come over with some uh, really cheesy, you know, like one-liners. So I can't really answer that one. But uh, the second part of this question is, ever had any really creepy guys try to pick you up? Yes. All the time. There was this one time I was uh, at the store near my house. And uh, I'm just standing in line trying to buy a candy bar or something. This is several years ago. So I was younger. I was like a teenager. And the guy behind me in line, he's like, hey, girl, how you doing? You grown, girl? You grown? Like, just real hood, real ridiculous. Like, I was just like, I gotta go. So I gave him my sister's phone number. Then I left. <laughs> Um, all right, and let's see, what's the next question? Do you ever check out your subs slash friends channels? And if so, would you ever do a dual com with them? Yes, yes, and yes. I like looking at other people's channels and especially my friends. I'm subscribed to most of my friends and I do enjoy doing dual coms. I actually have one I'm going to do with my good friend Chris Hazard pretty soon. And as you guys know, I do them with my roommate, with Fick, with Resigs, and yeah, I'm always willing to do dual comms. They're fun. Um, next question. What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? I am, I actually thought about this a lot, and I'm happy to say um, one of the biggest things is that there isn't a lot that I would do differently because I like to live my life like I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, you know... Uh, thankfully, I don't have a long list of things. I suppose I'd maybe I'd do a vlog or something, but it's not so much people judging me as I judge myself. Like I don't want to mold myself into the category of other female commentators. Um, if you could be one person for a day, who would you choose to be? I don't know. Probably I probably bead my dog for a day, just to see how relaxing and awesome his life is. <laughs> or maybe I'd be someone who's rich and I'd just spend all their money like a movie star and just spend it all and donate it and be like ha 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 and then the next day they'll, they'll all make it back but you know maybe I'd start a chain of people donating money it'd be cool mm, what can I do if I love a girl but I know I'll never be with her um I gotta answer that question with a question how do you know you'll never be with her uh, that's like the number one thing that people think I've had that happen to me several times where I find out years later someone I really cared about and was interested in being with 
um, they didn't know that I was interested and they had been interested also and it was just it's like a vicious cycle so if you love her I would I would probably like try to let her know unless like she's married or something I don't know it's a very vague question I need details come on now um, let's see what's next <laughs> this one has, is from my dear Fick Moly. Is she really a brick house? And if so, why is she so mighty mighty? My answer to you, sir, is clearly she's letting it all hang out. And that is why she is so mighty mighty. <laughs> um, I actually only have two questions. I'm over here rushing thinking I don't have that enough time and I have plenty of figures. Um, okay, next question is, what is your biggest flaw? Um, my biggest flaw, I guess I'd say, uh, oh, I have two, like a physical and an emotional, I guess. Um, I'm a, I have a temper. I have, a, obviously, you guys can tell from me cursing at Black Ops all the time. Um, yeah, I have a temper and a half, and I am clumsy like you wouldn't believe. Um, and then what do you look like? I am ugly, guys. That, that is what you need to know. There's a reason I'm faceless. It's to save all your little eyeballs from rotting out of your heads. It's not going to happen. You're not going to see me. Although I was thinking about doing a vlog at 5k subscribers as a thank you. I was toying with the idea. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, I look like a hot mess. Anyway, uh, that is near the end of the video, guys. Thank you for all the questions. I enjoy answering them. Uh, my final score is 55 and 3, so I kind of went beast mode on this. And I hope you liked it. Don't forget, it's okay to play like a girl. Bye, guys.